Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a really quick video testing the new Laura Mercier mascara. I got a PR box from them with, actually I'm not even sure exactly what's in it. It's their Caviar Volume Panoramic Mascara which I'm excited. If you watched my last video testing the NYX Tinted Veil, I was saying how I needed a new mascara. Ask and you shall receive. They also sent their artist eyelash curler. I actually don't have an eyelash curler. I have my heated one, which I really like, but sometimes you wanna just use a regular old manual. So I'm gonna test this today as well. They also sent their Caviar Intense Ink Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I'm gonna skip for today because liquid eyeliner, especially waterproof, is not really my forte. I don't wanna botch that completely. I quickly did the rest of my makeup and I wanted to to just come on and show you how the mascara works and wears before I went out for the day. Without further ado, let's get started. So first off, let's open up this eyelash curler. This is designed for all eye shapes. The Laura Mercier Artist Eyelash Curler gently lifts lashes to create the perfect panoramic curl. The unique double-handed grip gives ultimate control, leaving lashes flawlessly curled with ease. Gentle, flexible silicone pads of optimal density create a long-lasting effect without pulling, tugging, or damaging the lashes. So that is cool. This is, oh, it comes with an extra are you supposed to put, God, I haven't used an eyelash curler in so long. Are you supposed to put this on the top and the bottom? I haven't used one of these in a really long time. I like to put my lashes in with my eyes closed, blink up. One, two, three. It's like a million degrees in here. Last week it was freezing. It was so cold we had to put heat on and now it's like AC weather. It's pretty good. Let's do the other side real quick. I want to film a manicure video this afternoon. I'm about to cut them all off and start fresh for summer. Let's move on to the mascara. This is in the shade Glossy Black. I don't think it's waterproof, which is great. I'm not a huge fan of waterproof. Packaging is legit. It's very heavy and it's like chrome. I'm so excited to try this. Wow, this is a legit mascara. I feel like if you put it on a scale, you'd draw a number. Open it up. Ooh, it's a really thick brush. It has a little twist to the design. They are soft bristles. Let's just get started. I'm gonna try not to get mascara all over my eyelid, which I do every single time. My lashes are almost like too long, which is a good and bad thing. So I like to do a coat on the top first. And then go back in. This is definitely gonna be probably a three coat mascara job. Not bad. Not bad, so that was one. Let's move on to two. They look really pretty, but they're not like super clumpy, which I normally kind of like. Ooh, bottom lashes look good. Let me give it a quick second to dry before I do another coat. Take a Q-tip and just clean up a little. God, it is like a million degrees in here. Whoo! Here we go. It's not changing my life. I feel like the lashes aren't separating like I normally like them to. How I feel my Maybelline wand does it, but I'm pretty impressed so far. I'm not giving up just yet. I want to do one more coat, but that looks pretty nice. And I think curling really does make a huge, huge difference. Third coat. Oh yeah, the third is where it's at. Wow, I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna turn my camera off, go do my other eye, and I will be right back. Okay, so both eyes are done, and I like it. I like it a lot. To be honest, I think my lashes are just a little crooked, which makes it really difficult for me to use any mascara. I have to say, I still prefer my Maybelline mascara. I love the falsies. There's just nothing that beats it. The falsies and Total Temptation are just the absolute best, in my opinion, and they work the best with my lashes. This, however, is awesome. It feels very luxurious. It's definitely a splurge. I'm not not sure that I would go rushing to buy it, but if you're normally a fan of Laura Mercier products, you might find this to be exactly what you're looking for. I'm gonna give it a B plus. That is my rating. That would be a good idea. Maybe I should start rating beauty products. That way I can have some sort of legitimate scale to compare them to. I would say my falsies and total temptation are a solid A. I'm not gonna say A plus because nothing is perfect perfect, but they're an A. This is a B plus. I'm very happy with the result. I liked the artist eyelash curler. I think the combo worked well. It just didn't, it didn't give me that like fullness that I I was looking for. It definitely lifted them, it definitely coated them, but they don't look really full and 
voluminous and like super glam. Maybe if I continue to add more coats, that would happen. But I find that when I try to get a little too greedy with my mascara, it just becomes a huge, huge mess. Even this eye was starting to get a little sloppy. I was like, I need to step away. But overall, I'm really happy. I am ready for the day. I'm about to head out. I'm literally sweating. Solid B+. Plus. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I didn't even talk about anything else other than this mascara. So this dress I'm wearing is so, so cute. I don't know if you can see it. You really can't. I'll insert a picture here. I just snapped this morning. But it is the perfect summer dress. I found it on Amazon. And it was literally like $10. Just under 10 bucks. Super cute find. I mentioned in my last video how I wanted to start sharing some of my Amazon finds. And this was definitely one of them. It's cool because the straps, these tie. So you can wear it how I'm wearing it now as like a tank top but you can also tuck the straps in very easily. So you can make it a halter top, you can make it a strapless. There's really a lot of versatility with it and it's just a great dress. It came in a bunch of colors, but for some reason I just really wanted orange. Also, you know how I'm trying to finish my office? I mentioned, actually I don't know if I mentioned that I wanted to do nail polish wall, but my nail polish wall has come to life and I'm so in love with it. My mom is like my savior and she spent hours with me this weekend hanging all those shelves. I think there's a total of 12 shelves and they all needed to be perfectly level. I didn't want like these crooked nail polish racks. We marked it out. We were using our little laser level and going at it for hours. It was exhausting. It was a labor of love and I'm so happy it's exactly what I wanted. I'm not sure if you're subscribed to my blog or not, but I've been a little MIA over there, but everything is starting to pick back up now and I'm going to do a whole office before, after, reveal, tour, the whole shebang. Make sure you check that out, amanda-bella.com, because that will be up soon once the final pieces are here. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet and I will see you next time.